steroids have been around the athletic world for about 90 years. Athletes in both college sports and professional sports take extreme risks when they use these drugs. Most athletes use these drugs to enhance their body's comprehension as well as their athletic performance in order to get a competitive edge over their opponents. These drugs have been around since the 1930s for the use of medical purposes only, but later found their way into the athletic world and began being used by many athletes. The term steroids come from a compound of chemicals that form a ring structure. Most of these chemicals synthetically produced to mock the body's natural hormones. Substances made by the body include sex hormones, corticosteroids, and bile salts. These drugs can be taken in many forms such as pills and injections as well as ointments and it I'll just admit it. because well number one it's illegal number one is, is wrong let me tell you something they're not gonna let them test I, when I saw that thing come out in the last week about they're gonna start testing next week I said ain't a chance in the world because because some of those guys are cheating mm -hmm. and a unit is going to protect them think about steroids it was not a big deal when I played but the guys that were doing steroids, did you know who on your team was doing steroids? Absolutely. Did you know? Stand out like a turd in the punch bowl. But I knew who was doing it too. I mean, it was open. You knew. <laughs> Hope they catch the guys that are doing I want them kicked out of the NFL. Why? But for a lot of reasons. One, they're cheating. Okay, it's like Charles said, it's illegal. They're cheating. They're getting the edge on the competition. Yes. I want to play you. It's you and I play. Ball, I, don't want, I don't want to be playing the other. Someone else is doing it. Now I have to make a decision. Am I going to compete or am I going to give up my drink? And at that point, it's a really tough decision. You know, as a high school player, you may not be able to afford to go to college. They're among the world's most controversial drugs. Not coke, heroin, or crystal meth but anabolic steroids. Steroids are incredibly effective. However, it comes at a price. This is Russian roulette that they're playing with themselves. But for pro athletes in all sports, millions of dollars in world records can ride on gaining the slightest edge. And that's when many turn to steroids. In pro sports, adamant denials are par for the course. Are you taking a fifth? I'm not here to discuss the past. I have never used steroids, period. There's probably not an athlete alive at any level that hasn't considered using steroids, at least at some point in their career. These drugs will take you places that you can lift for 50 years and you'll never get too natural. They're that potent. They're going to break down their muscle, and it takes about 48 hours in between workouts for your muscles to repair themselves. Well, anabolic steroids speed up that process. So rather than taking 48 hours, it may be only 24 hours. In 1990, Congress voted to make steroids illegal without a prescription. The first shot in a war against cheating in sports had been fired. I've taken them, and I've taken lots of them. I don't recommend just anybody takes it. If you know what you're doing, there is a safe way of doing it. And there absolutely is. But what I personally do again, yes, that's, listen to the draw of that stuff. For one moment in time, Stephen Howard was the best there was on planet Earth. Number one. That's a hard thing to discount. Men may experience a number of short-term cosmetic changes. They can include severe acne on the back, as well as on the face. Anachomastia, the accumulation of fat under the nipples, causing the breasts to swell. And even testicular atrophy, the shrinking of the testicles to half their normal size. For women, the androgenic or masculinizing side effects are more pronounced, including male pattern baldness, growth of facial hair, and even a permanent deepening of the voice. The breasts may on the inside. Doctors believe this could happen. One type of oral steroid has been linked to tumors and cancers of the liver. Others have suffered a rare condition called peliosis hepatitis, where blood-filled cysts form on the liver and can rupture, causing internal bleeding. 
But even more alarming is the effect of steroids on the heart. Steroids can dramatically alter cholesterol levels, increasing the risk of heart attack or stroke. All my organs were shutting down one by one, piece by piece, and all my arteries were clogged. All seven in my heart I had no blood going to my heart. The doctor opened me up. He said he saw more blood in a dead person than he saw me being alive. In conclusion, athletes in both college and professional sports today are risking their health and taking steroids to gain the advantage. Steroid users in sports is a growing problem. New and more effective testing procedures will help to keep the heart of competitiveness in sports fair and equal to all athletes. Begin to show, begin to show.